Hi everybody, this is lesson four, sorry, in the corner, uh, of the integration um, lesson. And this is all about areas, the areas that are enclosed. So just as a reminder, integration gives you the area between the curve, the x-axis, and whatever limits you put in. Now I can make some quite complex areas doing that. Um, so let's have a look at this one then. So if you can tell, I've kind of got two areas here. I've got this first area, which looks like that. Now that's the area contained underneath the x squared graph. There. Now I'm going to show you how to do it on your calculator. Because we've been doing it by hand a lot, but there is a way of getting it done on your calculator. So I'm doing the calculator up. So if I go into menu one, uh, so let me delete all that. You want to see logs here? There. Right. I forget what I've done now. I forget how to do it. So if I do, yeah, just F4, then F6, then F1. It seems a little integral sound, can't it? Now it's got boxes for the limits and everything. So I'm going to enter my equation. So that's going to be x squared. I think if I press right, yeah. So then press right and it takes me to the lower limit, which I'm going to put in as zero. Then press right again, it takes me to the upper limit, which I'm going to put in as one. And that gives me out an answer. Of a third there. If a question doesn't tell you to fully justify it, we can do that. We can work out these integrals like that. Got to be careful though, because it might give you a decimal. You might have to do full work to get an exact answer if it asks you that. Right, so that's the first one. That's my first area. But if you look, my second area is just a little triangle in this case, uh, going between one and three. Now the height of this triangle is the y value when x is 1. So it's just y equals 1 squared, so it's 1. So I know that the triangle is 1 high and 2 across. So that's going to be a half base times height is 1. So my total area is a third plus one is four thirds. Should really put the unit squared, should it? Because it is an area after all. We don't need to count it. There. Right, now, well, you can say most, it's not always most. Quite a few of them are between uh, two curves. So what I can do is I can do the top curve minus the bottom curve. So for this one here, for that, that hashed out bit, what I've got is the top curve. So if you imagine, let me stick a set of axes around this so it puts it into context. So I've got that edge and that edge, which you probably need to find. So you'll need to find the intersections on a question, unless it's given, unless it's obvious. So the, the top curve looks like it's like that. The bottom curve looks like that, kind of. And that gives us the bit that's in between. It's like the, um, the compound area stuff we did at GCSE. So we'll look at the next page, which is an example here, isn't it? So I'll do this example, and then there's one for you. Right, so it says, let's put it on full screen a little bit. So it says on the same axis, sketch the graph of 4x and x squared. So we know, and you can graph it on your calculator, can't you? That x squared looks like that, and 4x looks like that. There. I want the area that's enclosed, which is between that bit there. If you look, it goes from 0, crossing point, and this here. 
So I want to work out the area. So the first thing we need to do is find where they intersect. So I'm saying that x squared is equal to 4x, because that's where you cross. So x squared minus 4x is 0. I can put it in poly with 1 minus 4, 0. Or go all old school and do the algebra. So that would be x is nothing. That would be x minus 4 is nothing, so x is 4. So I know the limits of my integral are 0 to 4. Now I kind of split this as two separate integrals and think it away. So I have a top integral that's a top, and a bottom integral. So the top integral, uh, well it looks like a triangle, doesn't it, the top integral? So it's the bit un underneath the 4x. So it's going from 0 to 4 at 4x dx. So let's stick that in the calculator. Get your calc up. So 4x, press right, between 0, press right, and 4. That gives 32. And then, put back on full screen so you can see easier. I've got the bottom one. So the bottom one looks like that. It's an area enclosed. So it is between 0 and 4. So the bottom one between 0 and 4 is my x squared dx. Just get back onto the calculator. That's my, oh, yeah. So I want x squared 0 to 4. 64 on the flip. So my total area is top, take bottom. Show me again, we've got them together then by mistake. So top is 32, bottom is 64 over 3. What's that going to be? 96 over 3 minus 64 over 3. It's going to be 32 over 3. We're going to square. But you just use your calc, don't you? Right, there's a question for you. Get back on full screen. I'll uncover the question for you, but please work on the question for you. If you just copy it, oh, it doesn't really help me very much. There. Yeah, see what they do it. Um, so which one's my top? So the top one is the, the minus six x plus seven, and the bottom one. So I'd make it more clearer. That's my bottom, isn't it? That's my top. It's a little bit hidden away here, isn't it? If I do top, take bottom. Right, I'm going to stop there because it's been going on forever. Actually, it's just questions. That's it. That's random, isn't it? I thought it was a question. Yeah, here's a question for you. Why are you still out? No, 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 come on, I haven't. Right, good, all good. See you later.